Hey y'all, my name is Cole Allen, and I am a member of Connect College Ministries here at Spanish Fort United Methodist Church, and a senior at the University of Oklahoma, where I'm pursuing a ma my master's degree in international relations. So one of the topics that comes up a lot in my field of study is world peace. What is it? What does it look like? And how do we get to it? And so in, deal in dealing with this topic, the definition of peace comes up a lot. So we really have two major definitions. The first is a passive peace or a negative peace, which is really just the absence of war. The second definition, on the other hand, mm -hmm. is an active peace and a positive peace, which is the absence of war and a condition in which society anticipates and meets the needs of all of its people. People are clothed and they are fed and they are housed and they don't have to live in fear of being treated unjustly by their neighbors. This is the kind of peace that I envision when I'm reminded that Christ calls us to be peacemakers in our world and community. And this is the peace that I really hope that we can see in our lifetime. So I've been really thinking during these uncertain times, these times of COVID-19, about whether or not this world peace is even possible. I've lost hope that we as a people of faith, we as a country, or we as a world even can achieve this sort of peace. You know, we're dealing with massive economic inequalities in our in our world, racial inequalities, gender inequalities. And it's really disheartening sometimes to think about all these things that aren't going right in our world. And when we let that get to us, we can start to believe that we don't have a purpose in fighting for the for this change. How can we as one person or we as one congregation really make a difference in this world? But when I get down on, on myself about this, when I start to believe that, you know, maybe I'm not enough or maybe we aren't enough, I'm reminded that, you know, Micah 6, 8, which is one of my favorite verses in the Bible, tells us exactly what we have to do. It reads, and what does the Lord require of you to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God? Really, as long as we're doing those three things, we're doing something right. We're working towards that active peace in our world. So I would like to encourage you that even though you might feel directionless, you might feel purposeless right now in these uncertain times, that you and I and our neighbors and our church have a purpose and we have direction. So don't lose faith that you can't make a difference because we can do anything through Christ who strengthens us and we have been given really easy directions to follow. And so I would also like to challenge you this week to look around our communities, look around your community, whether or not you're staying at home or going to work or going out and about while wearing your mask, which is important still, um, Look for an injustice. Start with just one, or look for as many as you can. And don't only acknowledge that they exist, and acknowledge that it's sad that they exist, but prayerfully think about what you can do during this time as an individual and as a member of a larger congregation, what you can do to fight this inequality. How can you do justice in someone's life? during this week? How can you make the world a better place? How can you help achieve a more active and positive peace in this world? I am praying for you and our church is praying for you during these times, and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Much love. God bless.